All right, moving on, and we'll throw this one to June, and then we'll work our way down the line with Alton. Uh, June, how would you stay connected with residents if you were elected to serve on council? I, I have some experiences in being involved with residents, again, because of a school board and because of business, and, and interestingly enough, because of the radio program that I do, Healthy Living on CSCB, because uh, people seek me out and, and, and for various reasons and, and discuss that with them. I do believe that I have a responsibility to stay in touch with constituents. I indicated on Monday evening how um, how positive an example this is, this forum and Monday evening's forum, in, in terms of, of uh, establishing uh, a conversation with the, the residents and stakeholders. I think we need to do it more often, and I would I would want to do that. Of course, I obviously communicate the, the normal ways with through telephone conversations, yes, through social social media and, and networking and so on, and those are all. Um, uh, ways that people communicate today. Am I as fluent as my um, as my children? Uh, absolutely not, and I can't text nearly as fast as, as anybody here, I'm sure, but I still manage to do that. Uh, there are other ways of communicating, though, and I think that to communicate, you have to put out the message that you're prepared to listen, and you have to invite communication from people, and that's one of my skills, is being able to listen and then and then engage in a, in a meaningful conversation. Okay, thank you, June. Alton? Uh, Yes, I, uh, I, I'm on several national committees. And one of the things we do, we send out a, every quarter, we send out a newsletter in our area. I know that's a little bit old, old hat, but it does work for our organization. It works very well. We have 180,000 members across Canada, and everybody gets a newsletter every quarter, so, you know, with both of so it works. But now, at the same time, there's, there's still no reason why, uh, and, and thanks for bringing it up about you know, the fact that the city is not on Twitter, they're, they're not on Facebook. They have got an internet site that I don't think it's kept up as well as it could be. Uh, there are, the information sometimes lags behind what happens, uh, uh, although they seem to be off on this by-election, they seem to have a few things on the by-election. So the internet is there. <coughs> uh, there's no reason why we can't upgrade it to other, other uh, forms of social media also. Uh, the other thing that you could, uh, I had thought about in the past, and I could never convince anybody to do it, but, uh, I'll still try to do it if I can, is have what I call town hall meetings. So uh, the town hall meeting, in other words, we, we would move the meeting from City Hall, say, every every six weeks or two months or whatever you want. You use some example there. And hold one meeting down at Mount Moriah. No, I'm sorry. For that Mount Moriah. <laughs> we'll go as far as Curly. We won't go into Mount Moriah yet. <laughs> okay. I didn't say amalgamation of Mount Moriah. Okay. <laughs> but we'd go as far as Curly. And we would hold a meeting, for instance, maybe at the Permian Lines group. And then another meeting would be held for us <coughs> somewhere in the Humber Mouth area. And, and another one, say, well, the town, the, the town hall would be used. So that's, that's ways of moving around. And, and that gives more access because people just don't want to get up and leave and drive for 15, 20 minutes to go listen to a bunch of politicians ramble on City Hall about their taxes and about whatever else. Uh, the other thing All right, that, we're way over time. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I'll come back to this. Follow point? Okay. okay. Here? The, uh, it's funny you should just say that because someone just who's watching on Corner Brooker just texted me and said that I needed to smile more. <laughs> so, I mean, I know. so I mean, it's it's you know how we I mean, how we connect with people is certainly changing. I mean, a little while ago when I gave a shout out to Sharon O'Neill Evans and the Occupational Health and Safety Group, you know, she she messaged me today on Facebook to say that she had watched the Corner Brook Cafe and that she was a little concerned that I had mentioned the university and that I had mentioned the College of the North Atlantic, and she was, but I hadn't, I hadn't mentioned uh, Academy Canada. I had been there with my flyers, but I didn't mention them in the debate. So I mean, how we, how we reach out and connect with people is certainly changing all the time. I'm actually following the debate right now online, on Twitter uh, as well. So I mean, reaching out to people, providing my input, my feedback. I mean, I believe of all the candidates, I clearly stand apart in the fact of my use of social media and my accessibility. I mean, if you go to my website, GaryKelly.com, you can connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, YouTube, LinkedIn. Uh, I mean, there's a number of different ways, I think. And, I'll, and Alton is right. Newsletters, I mean, we can't abandon, you know, ways that work for a large pop portion of our population. We have to be able to reach out in a number of different ways, not just traditional and old school, but new ways as well. All right. Thank you, Gary. Here. Um, I guess accessibility and transparency. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty open to talking to people wherever and whenever. I mean, you know, don't call, call me at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's absolutely necessary. 
but uh, I'll probably be a few foot eight anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm no stranger to people stop me on the street and saying, how are you doing? And Or, you know, I did one for K-Rock for, for a brief stint on the morning show, and uh, I got that quite a lot. Uh, you know, love the joke you said this morning, and so, so on and so forth. Um, I do want to kind of not defend the city, my goodness, heaven forbid if we do that, um, but when we're talking about social media and the, you know, the city of Cornbrook's not here, not there, not here, not there, I believe it's because they don't have anything dedicated to do that. I mean, it's, it doesn't take five minutes to throw something on Facebook, put something on Twitter, uh, get some information, research on their website. That is a full-time job, so they may not have anybody dedicated to that. The reason I'm saying that is because that's what I do, and uh, that is my job. When I usually work for someone, either Humber Valley Resort, or when I was working for the East Coast Music Award, or when I was working for the Western Destination Marketing or Management Organization, as which it's called now, that was my job. I did that every day. I researched information put on Facebook, I found the video, I found the pictures, and then you know it was it was put on our, our website, and then there were emails put out, newsletters, things of that sort. So it does take a little bit of time. It's not just a matter of sitting down for 30 seconds and getting it done. So there has to be a dedicated person to do that. So even though you know we're all saying that we're going to be accessible, that doesn't mean that we're going to be able to do that every day with our jobs that we have right now, um, because it does take a, a certain amount of time. And then that all has to be proofread. It has to be, you know. All right. Thank you, Karen. No problem. I'm running out of time. <laughs> you know, I'd like to see council sit up here every now and again in a forum, you know. Once a year, maybe, sit at a forum and, uh, you know, take your compliments, take your lumps, listen to what people got to say, you know. That's a good way to stay in touch with people, you know. And especially, like I said, when all this voting is being done behind closed doors, you don't know what's going on. Really hard to determine where people are coming down on things, you know. And, you know, if they, if they start getting away from this private meeting stuff, there's more, more news from media, they'll grab all the stuff, they, you know, they're involved with the discussion and people, you know, when, when, when stuff are going, like it's going on behind closed doors, they don't know what's going on, you know, and if you, I mean, you watch these council meetings, I mean, most of them are enough to put you to sleep, and, uh, you know, they get, get these uh, issues out there so people can see, let's see what, let's see what Donna, uh, both Donna's, Let's see what you guys got to say about different things. Don't put this stuff behind closed doors. Get it out there. Then people will get involved. The media grab hold of issues that they don't even know is happening. You know? and that's the way it should be. That's how you keep in touch with people. You know? All right. Thanks, Trent. <laughs> Any follow-up comments or remarks? <coughs>